Hi, welcome back to The Positive Side with Larry and Sharon. Today we want to talk to you about what do you want? This is a very important question that most of us actually have trouble answering. Uh, we've become so unconscious in our day-to-day -day lives with getting up, putting our pants on, going to work, coming home, getting a paycheck and buying stuff that we actually don't even think about what it is that we want and all the possibilities behind that. So today we want to talk with you about that, um, figuring out what that is. And if you do not know how to answer that question, we're going to share with you some tools to help you figure out what it is that you want. Over the next few videos, we're going to talk to you about how to get the life that you desire. But we break that down into different areas. Both Sharon and I are life coaches. I work with the law of attraction and with vibrational matching. I use a four-step process. And probably the most important step out of that is deciding what it is that we want. When I talk to my clients and I talk to different people and I ask them, what is it that you want? Usually, they don't know. They always know what they don't want, but they're not always clear on what they do want. So what we're going to discuss with you today is how do you decide and how do you figure out exactly what it is that you want? And then in, in additional videos, we're going to tell you how to put it out to the universe and how to uh, surround it with sacred energy. But the very first step is deciding what you want. And in deciding what we want, one of the key things is clarity, gaining clarity on that. Because the clearer we are, the more defined we are, it helps us to actually put that out into the universe so that it, it's not clouded. It's not clouded with indecision. And one of the ways that we do that is what we call peeling back the sides of the onion. Um, an example is uh, asking somebody, what do you want? Well, I want to win the lottery. Well, why do you want to win the lottery? Well, I want to win the lottery because I want to have a lot of money. Well, why do you want to have a lot of money? I want to have a lot of money because I want to do the things that I want to do. Well, what are those things that you want to do? Well, I want to be able to travel. Well, where do you want to be able to travel to? I want to be able to travel to Africa. Why do you want to travel? And see, it's just peeling back those layers until you get so clear on what it is that you want and so focused on what it is that you want that you're able to put that out into the universe. And when you do that and start taking the small action steps, what we call the as if action steps, and letting go of everything else, letting go of how it's going to happen, when it's going to happen. This is your gift to the universe to help it to start coming to your life. Absolutely. And I find, and this probably is the most important step in being able to have the life that we desire. We need to know what it is that we want so that we're happy in that life and we have all this. As a life coach, when I sit down with people and I ask them, what is it that you want? A lot of people aren't sure. As Sharon just said, they peel back the layers to find out exactly what it is that they want. I use a four-step process in uh, the Law of Attraction and Vibrational Matching. And identifying our desires is probably the most important step. And when I ask people, what is it that you want? A lot of times they're not sure. They know exactly what it is that they don't want. They don't want that job that didn't appreciate them, or they don't want that relationship where they weren't loved, or they don't want that bad health, but they're not sure what they do want. So one of the exercises that I start with with these people is I ask them to pull out a separate piece of paper and take a pen and let's list exactly what it is that you don't want. Once they put it down on paper in black and white and they can see this is what I don't want. I don't want to not be loved. Okay, so now we know what they don't want. 
we can flip it over. What they do want is they want to be loved. I don't want to be not appreciated at work. Okay, I don't deal with what we don't want. What we do want is we want a job where we feel satisfied, where we feel comfortable, where we're getting what we, what, what we want and what we deserve. So, the very first step in, in getting to the life that we desire is to identify exactly what it is that we desire. Once we have that, we can start working through other modalities towards making that a reality. It is a very important step and to get to the life that you want is a process. It's not a destination. And it seems like it's a lot, but if we break it down, you can't eat an elephant all in one bite into smaller steps. And we can now handle these steps. Again, the step is what we desire in life. I agree. Um, and the thing that, that I've also found is that we don't dream big enough. Um, so another part of the tool is to not put boundaries on what it is that you want. So to look at it in the sense of if the world was your oyster, what is it that you would desire? If money wasn't an object, what is it that you would desire? Dream big. This life is but a brief moment and there are so many possibilities out there for us. Uh, so the first of these steps is to decide what it is that we want. And we want to encourage you to think big. If you're not happy in the job that you're currently in, what is it that you want to do? Is it your own business that you want to own? Is it living the path, you know, having a job where you are passionate about what you're doing? 80% of the population does not lead a passionate life. 80%. I think that number's low. That means only 20% of us get up in the morning, and I'm included in that because I love what we do. And this has been a process for me to get here. But that means that 20% of us wake up in the morning and say, yes, I'm going to work today because I love what I do. We want to encourage you to be part of that 20% so that it will grow. Absolutely. Um, and I will tell you, because you just uh, made a point, and it was a discussion that I was having uh, with one of my clients, I guess about a week ago, maybe a week and a half ago, where we were talking about dreams. And, and the line that I said to them was, if your dreams don't scare you, you're not dreaming big enough. Yeah. You know, make your dream as big as you want. Because in the universe, anything is possible. The universe has an abundance of anything that we could desire in life and 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 we're coming when you do it that way from a consciousness of abundance rather than a consciousness of scarcity yeah and to actually just open your mind up i mean i have a similar thing with a client where you know i asked her to create the list and she sent it to me and it was very simple i want to be happy I want my children to be happy. And I sent it back to her and I said, no, 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 no. You are not thinking big enough. And when she sent it back to me the next time, it was bigger. It was, I want to own my own business. She wanted to be a genealogist, somebody that you know goes back and looks at family history. And I want to start my own business that way, which was much different than I want to be happy. Everybody wants to be happy. We, we all want that. What is it? that brings you happiness? What lights that fire inside of you? What would you do if, if you weren't being paid a penny because you loved it so much? I'm doing it. Yeah, we, we are. We are lucky enough, but this has been a process for us. So what we want you to do is to grab a piece of paper. We both look at it the same way, uh, slight, slightly different um, in the sense of how it's written out, but grab a piece of paper and at the end of the night, list off in your head or verbally five things that you're grateful for and also start to list what it is that you want and again if you don't know what that is write down what you don't want on um, i say on one side of the paper I'm a little and, bit different yeah and then turn it around for the other side so 
I don't want to struggle with money. Well, what does that mean? Well, for me, that means that I want abundance flowing in to my life in many, many different areas. And as I write what I do want down, then I make a line through what I don't want. And this just start the list. This does not have to be the list. It's, it's somewhere to start, to help yourself start thinking outside of the boxes that we've put ourselves in. Absolutely. My point of reference as a Law of Attraction Master Life Coach is I try to keep all of my thoughts positive. I set an intention to notice when there's anything negative in there in my head and I try and I consciously change that to something positive. When I tell my clients to take out a piece of paper and a pencil and both Sharon and I do very similar things, but I have them write down what they don't want on a separate piece of paper and then together we'll work with them and transfer it to what they do want. And as soon as we do that, and we have the list of what they do want, I tell my, my clients to take that piece of paper of what they don't want because it has negatives, and that's not the reference point that we start from. We always start from a positive reference point. So take that list of negatives right after we have transcribed it over to the positives and get rid of it because I don't want anything in front of me that says, I don't want, I can't, I'm, I'm not able to do this. I don't want any of that. I want to know what it is we do want. And once we have that piece of paper and we list our desires, and again, this process, it is a process and it's a large process. So again, we break it down to smaller steps. And once we identify what it is that we want, we have a point of reference where we can start from. And then with my life coaching uh, modalities is, you know, we, we then surround it with sacred energy and we release it to the universe. It should be sacred. I mean, it's your dreams. And <clears throat> what Larry was saying about what we don't want versus what we do want, the universe can't decipher positive, negative, what you do want, what you don't want. All it, it can decipher is what you're focusing on. So what we're trying to say to you is to focus on the things that you do want. Um, there's a statement that I love. It says, uh, worrying is praying for what you don't want. And it's so very, very true. Absolutely. It's an important step, though, in identifying what we do want. And in order to identify what we do want, really, we should start from a place of feeling good, of being comfortable. Um, I know that when I get into this part with my clients and deciding what it is that they do want, first I want to put them in a place where they're happy. And we start with maybe a couple of deep breathing exercises, a little bit of meditating, and release all the stress and all the tension from them so that they're in a feel-good place. Once all of those monkeys are off their back, they have a little bit more clarity and they're able to decipher what it is that they want or have a little bit more clarity on what they don't want so that we can turn it around from there. Because if you're going to lead the life you desire, the first step is knowing exactly what it is that we desire. Yes, and I have to say um, some of my biggest ahas, some of my biggest moments of deciding that I want to go into a different direction and that I want something different has come out of my contrast moments, what I call my dropped my knee moments. Those moments where I have felt so overwhelmed and almost tired, uh, tired to the point of I just can't do this anymore and I don't want this anymore. In those moments, which are not feel good moments, um, I have found that if at that time I start writing, that it, it, it comes through me. It comes through me what it is that I do want because I, it's almost like I'm at my lowest point and I know this is what I don't want and it's allowing me to actually write down what I do want. I mean, I found myself sometimes yelling, I don't want this anymore, I want. 
And in those moments, grab hold of that and write that down or record it or whatever you have to do, write in a journal so that you start recognizing and becoming aware of what you do want. It's so very important. Um, one of the tools that I use, I'm a passion test facilitator. There's a book called The Passion Test. It was written by uh, Chris and Janet Atwood and it talks about what we're talking about. So that's a tool that you can use. Uh, getting a life coach is another tool that you can use. This area of starting by writing down is just a little part of the big picture, so to speak. Um, but it's so important for us to recognize that what we want in life, what we want in life has true meaning to our fulfillment and our joy. And so many of us put it on the back burner. And what we're saying to you is life is important. It goes by quickly. And this is one of the one of the best investments that you can make in yourself is to decide what it is that you want. And then we're gonna help you to understand how to get that. Absolutely. Identifying our desires is one of the most important, although I have to tell you honestly, I think they're all important. But we do need to identify our desires. And I'm glad we had this opportunity to sit down and, and talk to everybody and discuss how to identify our desires. Tune in next time as we go further on finding out and manifesting the life that we desire. And the next step, which in my process is surrounding it with sacred energy and then releasing it to the universe. Uh, we will go into depth about all these steps. But we want to know, we also want to know, you know, your comments. Where are you in this? Um, let us reach out to us and let us know because we, we would love to converse with you, give you a little bit more information if you're stuck on something. Uh, if you want support in some area, that's important. What's the best way for them to do that? Is the best way for them to do that via email? I think uh, you can email us or you can go to our website, uh, which has a lot of really cool changes happening, and comment on the website. We would love to start a conversation on this. Absolutely. And uh, we look forward to having your comments and your input. So please do go to the website at www.amazinguniversetv.com and explore and take some time and go through it. And we look forward to seeing you next time. And remember, there's, there's always, always a positive, positive side. side. See you later. Bye.